it's been a tiring week, um, if I'm being honest. I've spent a lot of time resting um, and trying to like listen to what my body's telling me and to slow down, which has resulted in um, a week spent doing a lot of stuff at home. I did get up to a little bit. I went to a Mavs game. Um, I dog sat for a friend of mine who went on a weekend trip. So I had a little bit of dog time, um, which was really, really nice. You know, I had a really lovely Valentine's Day and then also um, watched the Super Bowl on my iPad. I actually prefer to watch TV on my iPad than on my TV, which is kind of weird. Um, but yeah, um, then really just spent some time cleaning my coffice area, which is where I am right now. Um, I think I say that a lot of times <laughs> in this video. Um, yeah, and then just showing a couple of things that I've gotten. Um, I say a couple, it's quite a few um, clothing items that I've gotten over the last couple of months. I got a new nose ring. I don't know how I feel about it. It is a stud, um, which is different. I've had a hoop for a while. These are the exciting things that have happened since the last time we chatted. Um, I got a new nose ring. I cleaned my claw office and I went to a Mavs game. I mean, that's pretty much my life. I'm just low energy. And I think for a long time, I tried to force myself into moving and working and just pushing my body further than I really should have. And instead of, you know, pushing through, I think I pushed too hard. And so it became really difficult to be able to take care of myself because I was constantly pushing. And so I'm trying to do a good job of listening and resting when my body's telling me to but that can suck when that means that you know you're in bed literally all day um so all that to say it has been a grateful week because i'm always grateful to be alive <laughs> and you know in relatively good spirits most of the time but you know it's one of those that I, you know, I, I probably won't count this as one of the greatest weeks of my life. Um, I don't, I haven't talked about this yet, but I do have a um, chronic health condition that makes life a little bit harder uh, day to day. And so this is just one of those times when that's kind of, you know, really, it's get me, you know, you know what I'm talking about? when it gets you like that. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this week's video. Um, so yeah, let's go. I wish I had eyes in the back of my head. I've been working on my pride, but the rest of me cares. Every time I feel alive, it be loving me, yeah. You my sinner, don't fold like it's vanity fair. Every time that I be done, then I be running to you. It's ironic that I'm... Calling you boo, please don't ghost me, love me, hug me, hold me, see me, grow me, I see whole thing, bragging, boasting. To all of my working on my pride, I've been working on my pride, yeah. I've been really scared, but then really trying, yeah.
my house is treacherous. You have got to watch your head when you're in my house. This is quite low. There's not very much space between me and the wall. Anyway, I am in my office, my closet office. Um, this is where I do a lot of my work and obviously where I get dressed, but it's literally a mess. I feel like in every video I'm saying something's a mess. That's just how I live my life. So that's just real. Anyway, this is my cloth office. It's very, very messy. I'll show you for real. And then I'm just going to clean it and organize it. Um, and then after that, I've got a couple of orders um, that I'm going to show you some things that I got um, in the mail recently. So yeah, I am watching Wednesday on Netflix. I'm very far behind everybody, um, but I am getting through the season now. I also, um, I'll show you. I just recently got a clothing rack. But I already have one that you can kind of see here. I'll show you more when I organize it. Um, but it's kind of holding a lot. I don't have like a, a good closet space. So it's holding a lot. So I'm going to use this um, and the other one in conjunction. And hopefully that will kind of lessen the load. What's cool about this one, and of course you can't see it here. Let me show you. It has a little... That's how messy my cloth is, is that every time I move, there's a box I hit. Um, it's got this second bar, so I can put like pants and skirts on the bottom and then shorts on the top. So I'm looking forward to using this um, over here. And then I'll just do some organizing. But first, I have to clean because y'all, it is a mess in here. Um, let me show you the mess first.
So I'm stopping for today, um, but I did finish um, getting my coffins cleaned up. Um, so shoes are all organized. They were pretty organized before, but now even more so. And I'm now realizing most of my shoes are black. I need to get more. <laughs> I love black. I wear black, a lot of black. Um, this um, setup here is from my office. This table is mostly cleared off. You will remember what it looked like before. Um, and sorry if you can hear that, um, there's just TV on downstairs, um, uh, but this pile needs to go in here, um, so I need to organize this into sections into this little, like, drawer, and I'm just gonna use this drawer for work purposes, um, because I don't know if I mentioned this, but I work from home, um, so yeah, I've got my little setup here, and then this is what I wanted to unbox today and show you what I got. Um, but I'm tired and it's late and I really don't feel like it. So I'm going to do that in the morning instead. And then this is the updated coffers area. I didn't bother organizing it by like I'm, I'm a color and like type organizer. So I'm going to come in here and organize these things by like type of top color of top at another point but i'm just really tired right now so as i've said three million times um so yeah this rack i'm gonna do like you know skirts and pants and stuff like that down there and tops and sweaters up here and then this rack is gonna be like all my outerwear so like all of my coats and stuff and i'll show you those more in depth tomorrow but like all my coats and then like these are like sets so like skirt and top sets here um, and dresses are gonna go on this one so yeah very dark sorry it's nighttime so obviously the the lighting's not the best but I am going to stop there <music> several days later I don't even know how many days it might be two days I think the last time I filmed was Monday today's Wednesday February 15th and I think it was on Monday was when you saw me cleaning up my cloth um, it is as clean as it's gonna get I am gonna be doing um, like a cloth makeover completely this was just kind of like to establish it because this space and I, I've shown you a little bit in previous vlogs and obviously will again when I do my makeover, but like this space is just really weird. It has lots of like vaulted ceilings, so like lots of angles, you hit your head really easily. It's not really good usable space. So I've always struggled to know like what to do in this area and the cloth is just kind of feels like the best use of the space. Again, the angles in my apartment up here are so weird that like, look, I'm touching, I'm touching my ceiling and I'm sitting down like very close to the floor. Um, so yeah, anyway. I'm gonna do a little clothes haul. There were some very good sales over the last couple of months. I feel like the Christmas sales specifically for clothes were really good. Um, and then, um, you know, I've just seen them kind of continue into the year. I needed new clothes I really did to be honest I've never really in my life been a girl who like cares about clothes and like you know makeup and hair um, but I, I I am I do care about those things and I like those things and so um, this is really a time for me to just enjoy kind of 
dressing my body and styling my body and, and getting interested in fashion for the first time. So it's exciting. Um, all that to say, <laughs> as a way to preface, that there are a good amount of clothes on the floor um, underneath me, the queen floor underneath me that I'm going to show you. I'm probably not going to put them on. Um, I order, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't order. I will order as part of my closet redecoration a full length mirror right now i have a mirror that show that's pretty big but it, it's not a full length and so it's really hard to like for me to get quality footage so i'm gonna order that mirror and then i can start kind of like when i order clothes putting them on my body so you see what they look like um but yeah instead of continuing to preface this i'm gonna get going so the first thing i'm going to show you is a shirt that i got at half of half. Um, if you haven't seen my past vlogs, half of half is like a discount clothing warehouse. Um, I think what they do is like buy overstock and then resell it at a cheaper price. So you never know what brands are going to be there, but you usually see like brands you recognize and then some that you don't. Um, but what I like about Half of Half is that they a lot of times have like streetwear brands there that I really didn't know that much about, to be honest, before I started shopping there. Um, that you can like get t-shirts or like sweatshirts and sweatpants and just like very good basics like that. And I really like to, to wear sweatpants and sweatshirts a lot. So I love Half of Half. I cannot recommend it enough. I need to stop talking about it though before people go there and get all the deals. Anyway, the first one that the first thing that I'm going to show you is again from Half of Half. It is a green, like silky material um, button up. Um, so yeah, again, it's like it's like a very silky, shiny material. It's this forest green color here, and it's got this really pretty um, white satin detail on the pocket at the top that I really like. Um, and then on the back, it says perfect on it <laughs> with like this racing checker. So I think it's supposed to be kind of like a race car-ish kind of top. Um, this brand is called The Perfect Example. Um, maybe it's actually, it looks like it might, it says EPTM. Maybe that stands for epitome. I don't know. I've been saying that. I think I made it up. But anyway, this is the back of the shirt. Um... And I'm probably gonna wear it open with something underneath it. Like this will be something over the top um, of like an outfit that I wear, maybe like a bodysuit or something like that. I don't know, like a shorts bodysuit with some sneakers. Either way, I think it's gonna be good for like summer cause it gets really hot here. Um, next up, I got an order in from Anthropology. Um, this is the first time I've ever ordered anything from there. I don't really know um, the quality of their clothing. All I know is that this mf -er was expensive at first. Um, I got it on sale though. So I actually saw somebody um, that I follow on Insta actually first posted this fit. And after I show you anybody who like knows my style, this is me very, I'm like to a T. And so when she posted it, I immediately went to go look at it. And the set, it's a set, a sweater set. It was $180, which like, I'm, I'm cheap $180 of money that I could be using for a Beyonce ticket so we didn't do that however I went back and looked a little bit later it was half off and then they had an additional um, like 40% off or something like that so this ended up costing me 60 bucks which in today's inflation honestly isn't really that bad especially because it does really feel good quality and it's a top and a bottom so like if it's 30 bucks each i mean i buy 30 dollars sweaters all the time so um it is a sweater set like i said i'll show you the top first it is very very oversized um so i will be tucking this in but um this is the top it is cre it's like a cream uh, um cream and beige floral pattern the the sweater it feels like a kind of like a heavier cashmere it's really soft um and the flowers are like raised on the shirt so it gives it a little bit of texture and they're a little bit furrier than the rest of the 
the sweater. So it's, it just gives it like a really pretty pop. And then it comes with the sweetest little mini skirt. The sweetest little mini skirt um, with the same exact print. So um, I will be wearing this probably, I have a happy hour on Friday. I'll probably be wearing it there if the weather is cool enough. Um, and then obviously, like I said, because this top is just so oversized, it was one of the things that um, everybody in the comments mentioned, but because this top is so oversized, I would absolutely tuck it in or like try to get it to be shaved a little bit. And I think I'm gonna wear a leather jacket over it, but we'll see. So that's that from Anthropology. Um, I have an order from H&M next. Um, for everything that I am um, showing you, anything that's linkable, I will put in the description box. The sweater set I just showed you is sold out. I got the last one of that one. So that one's unfortunately gone. But I think most of the H&M stuff that I'm going to show you is still available. It was from the like just added section. I got these pull-on like pants. They're... Um, I don't know, what would you call this material? Um, I don't know, it feels kind of like polyester -y a little bit. Let's see. It's polyester. So these are polyester, which honestly, I don't mind. Um, they're very comfortable. I've actually already tried these on. They're very comfortable. They're very like wide legged, a very casual fit. Um, and I really like them. I'm going to wear it with all kinds of things, t-shirts, sweaters, button ups, you know, coats on top, sneakers, boots, whatever. They're just, I think it's going to be a very versatile pair of pants. So that's the first thing. I got this linen blend white button up that I see is very prone to wrinkling, um, but it's really good quality. I like the buttons. I like that it's got a pocket on the front. Um, yeah, I just like it. Oh, and I'm sorry, this is an XXL. The pants are in an XXL. The sweater set from Anthropology is in an XL, I'll tell you. But anyway, this linen shirt is just gonna be, you know, for what you wear a white button up for. So yeah. This is next. I got this really cute striped sweater. This is also an XXL. I got I got it. I get everything at H and M in an XXL right now, because um, that seems to be my size. It's got a nice. I like a thicker collar on the neck on a sweater. I don't really like my sweaters to have a thin neck. Obviously, I love a thick collar. Um, but this is just really cute, and I think I can style it a bunch of different ways. And then just to get kind of close up, so you can see the weave of the sweater. It's a kind of medium size weave, but very cool. This I ordered on impulse because I've been really into like blues lately. Um, and the writing on the front was French. So that was an easy way to get me. Parlez vous français, okay? But it's this one. <laughs> it's a blue sweater that says couleur on the front and couleur means colors. Um, but I thought the, the, the um, color was just a really pretty blue. You can again, got a little bit of a thicker neck I'm um, a thicker collar on the neck, which I always like. I think it sits really prettily. The print is kind of embroidered. I mean, the, the word is embroidered on there, which just, I mean, so, so stinking pretty. So, really like this. Um, and then I got, lastly, from H&M, just a pair of these cargos. I just wanted a pair of, like, regular green cargos that I could wear with anything. So, I got these in a size 18. Um, they are, they fit, they're a little snug, I'll be honest. Um, I did try them on when I was on my period, so it could be that I was just like a little bit bloated too, and they might fit a little bit more comfortable. Um, if I ordered again, I might get a size 20, just because I think cargos are really cute when they're baggy. I like to be sucked in on the bottom, so these make me feel that way. Um, but yeah, they've got these pockets on both sides and then they've got this stitching in the middle. It doesn't obviously unzip, but you've got this stitching in the middle of the pant and then just like a regular hem at the bottom. And then in the back, 
just two regular, two regular pockets. So yeah, that is those. And that's everything from H&M. Lastly, I got an order from Mango. Um, I ordered three things from Mango. They had a great sale. These are the first thing I'm, things I've ever ordered from Mango. I've never ordered from them before. Um, so I didn't really know what to anticipate with sizing. Um, I ordered a puffer that I'm gonna send back. I thought I couldn't, I thought it was final sale, but I'm gonna send it back because it's just not, it's just not what I wanted. It was very much like a regular, like imagine like a North Face or like Columbia style zip up puffer. What I wanted was like over exaggerated puff cinched at the waist, like probably more of like an Aritzia style puffer is what I was looking for. And it's too small anyway. So not only was it not the style, but it's really small too. And so I'm gonna send it back and just be back on the hunt. Um, on the other piece that I don't have to show you is um, on its way. It left their international warehouse a long time ago and it hasn't gotten here yet. So um, I don't know if I'm ever getting that thing. It's one of those things that like you order and then you completely forgot you ordered and then one day it's just gonna show up at your door. Um, because of how long it takes to get here but having said all that the one piece that I wanted the most fits and is incredible so um, I'm really happy with that and that is this this leather faux leather blazer this faux freaking leather blazer long oversized beautiful pockets three button detail on the arm here the lapel is just i mean like come on put me in the matrix four and in, in this you know what i mean give me some black sunglasses and and i'm keanu you know what i mean look at that did you see how that <laughs> y'all <laughs> like brunch with the girls i have on like the the, the craziest i could go to brunch with the girls just this jacket is a kind of like blazer that changes the outfit that you have on. Like it just changes it completely. Um, so this is me, a bit of me. Okay, like I love this thing. Um, and it was 40 bucks, which to me is very affordable for this type of thing. I got it in XXL. Um, I think I could have, again, gone up a size if I wanted to. So that's what I got from Mango. Yeah, that's all that I have for clothing. I know for some people that is a ton and for others that's probably nothing. For me, that's a lot of clothes considering that I have bought other clothes very recently. Um, I used to buy clothes like once or twice a year max. I mean, I'm talking max once or twice a year. So for me to be buying clothes that I love and that make my body feel good, I'm sorry to me, that's soft life. That's soft life. So um, I did get a very cool pair of New Balances that I will show you from um, a place here called Second Street. Uh, it's from Japan, I think. It's like a thing, like a Buffalo Exchange, just like a secondary resale place that, you know, you can bring your clothes to, they'll buy your clothes, your used clothes, and then resell them to folks. But Second Street is focused like on streetwear and like designer brands. So you're going to go in there and you're going to see brands like Comme des Garçons, you're going to see like Bape, you're going to see, you're going to see a lot of different like brands that you don't normally see all the time in stores like my god can you even can you even suede at the front you can see that beige suede
thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully this next week will be a little bit more exciting. Um, no, who cares? This is my life. This is the way that it really is, is going. So, um, you know, I'm just gonna try and have a little bit more outside time this next vlog. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will be back next week as usual on Sunday. Um, in the meantime, I hope you take care of yourself, um, that you stay well, and that you do something that makes you happy. Thank you. Bye.